Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today is day four of owning your Cricut. <laughs> so if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, let's do a quick recap. Day one was an overview of your machine, um, how to you know load and unload a new blade and how to feed in something and just the bare essentials that you need to use your Cricut. Day two was an overview of design space, and that was cr created just so that you can Get enough of a feel so that you can do a project and get something done. <laughs> Day three, these are the extras that I highly recommend and it's Creative Fabrica and Main Type. And that's so that you can get all the beautiful fonts and get the most out of it. Um, and also some extras um, that you can get from Creative Fabrica, all mainly dealing with fonts. Day four, this is, okay, you've been following me, you've seen some of my projects all the extras that you need um, to make the extra fun stuff. <laughs> so first thing is most of my um, items are all on Amazon because it's so easy to get. So what you wanna do is the link is below, but it's super easy. It's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. And that will get you to here. Once you're on here, I have some pinned categories. If you wanna get into sublimation, go into sublimation. That is like way extra um, that I love, that you need, <laughs> but you not you might not need it at this very moment if you're just starting. Um, but some of you guys have been around for a long time. If this is the time for sublimation, you know that I love it. I always sprinkle it in regularly with my other projects. All right, the ones that you really, really wanna look for are these two. Crafting products is the main one. Obviously, you can see it has 38 items, but if you wanna personalize party stuff, gift bags, you wanna go in here. Let's scroll through here and look at the crafting products, and I'm gonna give you the lowdown. So we've got the tools that I said that you actually, I do think are the bare essentials, which is your weeder tool, your scraper and spatula, and your brayer. Those things you really, really need. The other thing um, that's not on here, actually it is on here, um, is your Barely Art Glue. If you're gonna be a paper crafter like me, you're gonna need Barely Art Glue. I'm gonna actually talk about the three different types of glue that you need. Barely Art Glue for all your paper crafting. Beacon Glue for when you're using those domes that you see in my projects. And you need a hot glue gun. There are times when those two aren't gonna work and you, you need your hot glue gun. All right, let's talk about all these other things on here that you need. Glue dots. Glue dots are great. Um, sometimes, you know, you just need some adhesive. Teflon sheet. This is if you're gonna get your heat press, any kind of heat press, the big one, or your standalone heat press from Cricut or Craft Express. Um, I prefer using the Teflon sheet. So for instance, when you're ironing just your regular clothes, just think about how black is or red, those colors, and you can see your iron marks. The Teflon will cover your whole project so you don't have those issues. And it also protects the actual um, iron-on vinyl, your HTV, your heat transfer vinyl. Uh, it can't it can't touch direct heat, so you need something to cover it. So I highly recommend the Teflon sheet. It really does protect the surface of your blank. I love ground up creations for my glitter card stock. Um, you know, I will say when I first started, I just, I spent so much money and I kept seeing cheap deals and I would get it. And then after, you know, doing a couple, I, I mean, it, it took a while. I mean, I was totally into buying cheap paper. <laughs> Um, but now I've totally changed. I Now I like my basil paper and I like ground up creations and I will use Cricut paper. Um, the Marvi Uchida crimper. That is for your potato chip bags. When you personalize them, this is the finishing touch. All right, I only use the blue blades. These blades are amazing. 30 of them for $9. You can't beat that. Um, I only get the blue ones when a project starts to cut wonky. I'm switching out the blade and I get great cuts. I do really intricate things, really detailed stuff, fragile, all of that. Um, and it all is possible with these off-brand blades. If you like all my lights on my projects, cake toppers and all that fun stuff, these are the lights I use. I actually, you know, 
I go back and forth. I used to only like the white, then I like the colored. I feel like the colored lights um, is not as glaring and harsh. So, uh, but I have both because sometimes you do want just a white light. So anyway, these are the two lights. This hot knife, oh my gosh, it's one of my new crafts. It goes with this, these little baubles. This thing will heat up this whole metal rod and so you can poke a hole in your bobble and you can have a stick going through it so that you can use both like a full um, bobble piece for party decor. So love it. Wobbles. Wobbles are great to give you movement. So let's think of like a layered bow. Then maybe the top part of your bow is on the wobble or even your whole bow is on a wobble. Then it moves a little bit. So it's great for... I don't know, all your crafting projects, your cake toppers, your off the mat characters, all of that. So wobbles come in two sizes. These are the two that I use. The Artist Spree mat. You may wonder what's different about this mat versus um, a mat that you can get from Cricut, for example. This black project mat is uh, silicone based. So that means if you do sublimation, uh, if you do iron on, it won't, nothing will stick to the silicone mat, which is perfect. If you, I have made mistakes where things weren't covered properly or whatever else, and I've ruined my other mats. So this one is definitely worth it. Um, I have this heat press, Excel blades. Okay, when you need an X-Acto knife, basically, I mean, where's that, that word X-Acto, I know it's a brand. It's kind of like Kleenex tissue, right? But when you need a blade, I highly recommend XL blades. So I do my off the mat characters, I cut foam with it, it's super sharp, and it makes, someone else will spend 40 minutes cutting foam, I will do it in like two minutes. I swear this is the knife. <laughs> um, straws, straws are great for cake toppers, straw toppers, um, this helps you for your placement on your HTV. There's my Barely Art Glue. If you actually buy straight from their website, you can always go to my profile link um, just from any of my social media accounts and you can go directly to Barely Art, use my link and my code and get a discount. It is cheaper directly through them. Um, you need a heat tool. This is great for heating paper for what else do I use it for I'm trying to think in the oh embossing like when you turn your glitter into like it melts it and it becomes like a metallic this is to roll papers and also to quill it's so cheap that I you know get the whole set in case I want to do quilling Neato. Neato is the paper that I use for all my printing stuff so for stickers labels it is worth it um you can go directly on their site as well and use my link through the profile link and i do have a discount code it's fans 25 and that gives you 25 percent off so um these are fun blanks for keychains this is my hot glue gun these things you know just crafting essentials this holds all my beads all my sequins all that fun stuff um i have this kit but i'm a big scaredy cat when it comes to epoxy so it's here if you want to use it I don't do any projects with it um, the Avery sheet protectors that's my acetate that's my go-to acetate it's so cheap you can try this I don't think it's one of those things where you really notice whether it's real acetate paper or the cheapy sheet protectors I don't think anyone knows <laughs> this is the quick stick memory keepers I love it it helps you pick up little small details um, I love these little acrylic sheets. This, all, all three of these go together. The Xyron Station. The Xyron Station is great for putting a sticker, making, turning any crafting project into a sticker. It puts the whole adhesive on the back side. I do have my Xyron. All right, that takes you through this. Uh, let's see. The only other two things that, I really, really, really use all the time that's not on here is I use tech wrap vinyl. You're gonna love it. It's bubble free. It's the easiest to apply. It's got great colors. It's got 
uh, temperature changing vinyl so it starts out white and then when you put ice cubes in there the white turns into blue or red or whatever um, they also have like specific bubble free vinyl adhesive vinyl that you can put on your tumblers on um, I don't know what else do I put uh, their vinyl on on ornaments like this one that has the year on there um, any kind of you know any adhesive vinyl tech wrap and then the other one is heat transfer vinyl, like your iron-on vinyl, HTV. I use poly tape, and you can get all those links through my profile link. All right, I think I took you through everything, but let's go back, and I can go into the personalized party favors and go over what we have in here. These are the ornament balls. I use them a ton, uh, needle labels. These are all my fun blanks that I ha have used in the past. I've ordered it. Um, these are sublim, it's a polyester finish, so you can use both sublimation and just, um, heat transfer vinyl. They are the cutest gifts. Um, these little pouches, these are the tumblers that I've used. Um, yep, that's to, let's go back. And then Cricut related projects. These are the, Oh, they're all on my other one as well. Just a few things that are not on here. Um, yeah, I think you're good. Actually, I'm going to remove this because everything on here is already there. All right, there we go. Um, that's day four, day five. We're going to actually do a project which takes you right into all my other videos. So um, if you like what you see, if you like my style, the only workshops I have scheduled for 2023 is in February. It's called XOXO Craft Girls. The link is below in the description. I am doing both in person in Texas. So if you're in that area or if you just want to make it a fun Galentine's Day weekend, it's girls weekend. <laughs> so join me in Texas at the Barely Art Headquarters with Josie from Sophie's Corner Crafts. Um, it's going to be so much fun. I can't even... I, you can check out the, the one I did in the summer. It was amazing. So anyway, if you can't make it to Texas, I am having online classes the first weekend in February. And so check out the classes and see. They're both for beginners and for advanced. It's it's a wide range. You're, you're going to walk away with a lot no matter where how you started. So um, if you have any comments or questions, please send them my way and you know, we'll make sure that the class is right for you. So, all right, check out the details. Happy crafting, uh, happy holidays, and we'll see you on day five. Bye, guys.